the mod is also, as we saw, quite locked as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So this will be interesting, and we will see more than three rounds in each game, I think, in this one. You would so. have to imagine, you would have to imagine. It's move, it's where we like to kick things off, and it's 6,000 points apiece to start things. Everyone looking good, Mata, again, off of that insane flick win to beat out Lenly in the previous game. We'll see if you got more magic in store for us. Round one, game one of moving Jalotris versus Mata, and we are starting in Arge. And I, thought, I thought you were waiting for me to tell you. I was like, I would never do this. This is, this is not how we play this <laughs> no, game. No, These are not our roles. I can't, I can't throw <laughs> a bus like that. Unless if it's Denmark. I'll do Denmark. True, true, yep. true. And I'll rest Sweden. So, well, this will be go. interesting. So, Argentina is pretty learnable. Um, I'm not sure which one has advantage here, but you can basically try and find red numbers, highway numbers. Both are obviously in the country because it pulls red lines, Gen 4, things like that. Big streets to start things off here as well. Maybe, I mean, plenty of info to be found, but on these bigger interstate streets, usually a little oh, more distance between them. But there you go, that is yeah. crucial. Not only province. not only do you see the province, but he you literally have a dot saying, you I are think, here. I think that's perfect execution from my there. He's yes. getting information, he's guessing it quickly, and he's getting it in to not give his teammate Emmer or his opponent, and we see Jalotris going south. I mean, there's a literal arrow on the map saying, you are here. Let's see if he does manage to 5K, and it's gonna be close regardless, great. Start here for Mata. 1,300 damage. That's a lot coming through in round one. Sometimes moving is about going in the right direction. True. Round two. Sure is. Ghana. Ghana is where we are. Do we have tape on the car? Of course. That should be. Ghana tape. Dilletris says, actually, I'll take the old compass. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Old school player, you know, based. See you there. In place of God, Ghana as well. So in case anyone wasn't sure and thought we were lying, now it's been proven to you all out there. A lot of info to go by, plenty of text, but does it help them decipher the region? Looking for an address with the town name, and Mada has found that, and he's going Cape Coast, and he's found the city. He's logging in quickly again and again. He's not giving it a little surf up or <laughs> wow. <laughs> not fighting for the 5k here. Just want to try and put the pressure on Jalotris. Oh, but Jalotris is right yeah, there. Both there. Both there right next to one another. It's only going to be probably single digit damage coming through here in the second round. <laughs> but I like what Mara is doing. I mean, it's the mental games, right? Jalotris didn't have the greatest start. And again, yep, 44 damage. Not too much to talk about. But um, for Jalotris, didn't really get off to a good start in the previous game. And Mara wants to catch him off guard. And that's exactly what Jilchus is trying not to do. Yeah. He's playing a good game here. Gotta try and get comfortable in the seed. We have a Chile here. We have the Chile Chevron thingy. Red and white. Turn around with white car. But as you said, I mean, uh, Jilchus, plenty of land experience played at the World Cup last year. He has been here before, but of course, new year, new opponents to go up against. And with the start that he had, I think the start that everyone hopes never to have, hopefully he can bounce back and get things going here. Where's the Santiago guess here by Jalotris? Yep. We'll see. Uh, it's around Santiago somewhere, but Jalotris is putting, trying something new here. He's putting the pressure on Mada here. Mada, where will you zoom in? You have 10 seconds. Take your time or not. Well, this fine. dirt road will leave, leave you nowhere. Landscape. And he's going Santiago, just north. Landscape and landscape alone, a distance between him, not too much, but still damage done. And Mata with a quick point down there, almost picture perfect. A thousand damage once again in the way of Jalotris, despite the fact that he was the first one to log it in. Yeah, and if you're Jalotris, you're thinking, what is going on over here? What did this guy eat for breakfast? <laughs> He's you see fast today. Yeah, I didn't see he him at breakfast. Fast Maybe he I didn't see either. Maybe he went and got some Wheaties. Something simple. Low carbs, you know? Low carbs, you can't be... Uh, can't be stacked up on cops for a game like this. Sucks. Let's see. Into the city we go. Should be plenty of info to find. Vendors on the street corners. Maybe some official vehicles down the street. Taxis, you name it. Plenty of info to be found. But who gets it first? Who gets the better of it? Both players, no country. Now, Mod is new and he's really good. He's just really good at finding information. Yeah. The thing is, there's information to be found pretty much everywhere, but it's about what is the good... Like, it's, it's about kind of uh, weeding out all the bad info, all the useless info, right? Because you can very quickly get stuck just staring at, like, shops for days on end. And if you know there's no info to come by here, then that's a lot of time wasted when you only have a minute to go by. So for all of you guys out there trying to learn how to play the game, figure out what is the important Monterey science guess. to look at. Yeah, quite, quite exactly. It comes with experience, though. Nothing you can just, like... Both players looking at cars to see if they can find an address. Mata has not opened his map yet. He has eight seconds eight to get seconds. in. And he's going south. Okay. Is Jill just going to stay, stay in Monterey? Someone's close here. Quite a bit of distance. Someone's not. This is distance. And it goes to Mata. 
Goes Marta's way again. Damage already done to Jelotis. Is it gonna be enough to kick him off here? No! Will survive with just over 500 health. Round four. Jelotis in trouble already. He needs to turn this around and he needs to do it now. And I've talked to Jelotis prior, prior to this as a good friend of, good friend of his and you know, when he looked at this moving map and saw the, the way this new moving map is, mm -hmm. he was kind of discouraged about how urban it was. Um, urban versus rural is a real kind of player, player difference of for sure, what your for strength, sure, for strengths sure. and weaknesses are. And so when you get these urban locations with lots of information, it's harder. And this is another urban round. What well, looks like Yukon. We'll see if that's right in Canada. Mada is going to go for the quick play here again if he finds info he likes early on. He is far enough ahead that he can kind of dare to just plonk it in quickly. He doesn't have to be on point even if it takes a bit of damage. The chance for him to wipe out Gelotus simply with the time spent could be worth the effort. No front plate. This is a great place. I, f I feel like I would love it's to like play cowboy here. Town. It looks like a little parlors, you know, like... Where are the, where are the people riding horses with their Yeehaw hats on? Get these mountains in the distance and we do see a Yukon zoom in here by Gelotus. I can see Rachel and, uh, and Chicago just come strolling down the street here, going, howdy ho, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like the see, American way. We see two Yukons here. Which one is where in Yukon? Look for an address. Mammoths. This is a great little touristy town, probably. It is like, it could be like a movie set. Mata is or something. Mata has, Mata has left Cowboy Town, though. He's out in the wilds, in the open, looking for info, but nowhere to be headed. He does see a lake. Road. There is a lake there, or a bit of a river, at least. Something to go by. Let's see who's going to get it. He only needs 500 on Jelotis, but it's Jelotis on point. Almost, almost perfect. That's at least big. finally some damage done. 500 points in a dream. And we move into round six. How was that a 4999 when he was 189 meters away? Quick maths, I don't know. Yeah. They they just they got him out of a... He got baited out of a 5k. Not quite Turkey. Flag is similar, one would say. Tunisia. Tunisia. There we go. Flag game. Fun point. One of the few things we I have, have time to study coming into this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we have the light follow car behind us, which gives hints on the region. Usually you find it in the north. You find the darker follow car, the green car behind you. It's a darker color green in the south, I believe. And you can also use things like reading, if that's your forte, or looking at the actual landscape around you. If you enjoy the game of GSR, you can play it that way as well. We have an airport. Does that mean you're just in the capital, probably? Tunis. I love when you have a game like this that is so simple at hand. There's so many ways to go about it. That should break down as we see here as well. Now, finally, Jalo just kind of turning the tide in terms of time to pick. He locks in quickly. Mata still not seeming to like what he's found so far. Not even looking at the map yet. Now, finally, scrolling in Tunis as well. Zero. It's where he's going. That'll not do it there. Survives once more. Four, Four. damage. We'll take those. It's all right. He'll sit in a clean... 540 for all the OCD people that wanted to see an even number. And uh, there he is. Wipe the sweat off. Lock in. Jelotris is locked. Round 7 of 10. Brings us to Columbia. The Colombian paint there. With the orange, black, orange, black. Pretty. Both players will probably turn around. And or see the yellow plate as well. This will be a free colo. It's also moving. I keep forgetting. Well, but I mean, it's free Columbia, sure. But considering the health that Jelotris is currently sat at, and we're at four times multiplier, Oh, I mean, be, easily, be on the wrong side of a easily, small city, easily, and that's easily. game over, right? So if you're Lotus, you can't just plonk Columbia here. You need to be very, very wise about exactly where you put down your marker. Yeah, this could be it. Sure could. The sure thing is, Jelotus can lose here, but he cannot win. That's the way true, to look at true, it. True, true, true. And Unless if Mata makes a massive mistake, which we haven't really seen him do much so far. And once again, he's found vital information with tons of information on it. Yeah. I mean, it's just this guy consistently, it finds him almost. 22 seconds. I like the fact that he kind of got out of the city. He quickly realized this is a small place. Let me get out of the city, out on the edge of it. Find one of those bigger signs. He has it right there. 10 seconds left to play. Neither of these two having locked in their positions just Jelotris yet. Both found. going towards Colombia, but there's some distance in between them. This could be game. Yes. And it will be game. Is, is he 5 king? Yes, yes, he is! 44 meters off the mark. Mata once again strikes strong. This guy is actually cracked. I'm not gonna lie. What, A.B. Formans? Calm down, calm down. You haven't even I'm seen the gonna, best I'm of me. Calm down. He's, he's, he's saving it for the grand finals. Should he make it there? Fair enough. But for Lotus, this is now do or die. We're headed into no move with a 1-0 in favor of Mana. If Lotus falls here, that should effectively be him out of it. Yeah, I mean, the way he's playing, you, you don't 
I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, this is actually a really, really high-level gameplay that no, I don't think anyone was expecting from him. But I guess those that didn't know, maybe the friends close to him knew. Yeah, they Obviously, might. Obviously, he's They're... new to kind of the, the lane turn he's here, so no one... But yeah, this is an impressive performance. It could actually be interesting if Lindley beats Kratzo in the next game, because then Gelosis and Kratzo are going to be playing the final game for the final spot. Whoa. Actual script <laughs> over time. That would be insane. But of course, that's down the line. We're a little bit away from there. Let's head on in to this second round into no move and Jalotis. Everything on the line. Still in it. And we, and like I mentioned before, he mentioned that the urban rounds and the moving were not his forte. We and don't. so we want some forest, man. What better way to give him forest than to? Well, let's head out into the open and breathe in some fresh air with Jalotis and Mata. See what they can do with this one. It's like mechs, presumably. Blue card, where you go like Chiapas or something. Let's see. No move, so you do get one three sixty panorama. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. laughing. I'm he's not chilling. Sure. What is he laughing at? I'm Having a good time. What? It's interesting to see that kind of the spectrum of like the, the amount of raw emotion players go through in a tournament like this. We spoke with Kodiak earlier today as well. How initially he was frustrated, annoyed with what was going on, and then you see him here on the end. Uh, Splinky gets him through, jumping around in joy. I mean, it's these guys. They're through so much on a single day of competitive play here, much more than what they probably experienced over the course of weeks at home. There's so much pressure Wait, on their shoulders. Wait, is zooming over to Southeast he's Asia? I'm all not over. sure why he would do that. Did a, a 360 spin on the globe, you know, just yeah, he's trying just, to... He just is appreciated. It's, it's like when you're a kid and you spin the globe around, you just put your finger somewhere, see what yeah. happens, you and know. this is CDMX, downtown CDMX here. Uh, that's... that's... okay. It's not that's you know, a, in the city there, but I, I do like the Chiapas call out here by Jalotris. A safety a safety bet, I suppose you could say, by him doesn't want to risk too much in and around the city, as you've said before, as well, if you don't know, go to the city, but that's a good start for Jalotris. Huge start. 1600, and that's what he needs if he wants to win this. Obviously, he knows he needs points. Oh, yes, definitely does. Big, big, big beginning here for Jalotis to turn this one around. And, uh, you know, Mata, I mean, he can play like that, too. He's in the position to be yeah, able to play like definitely, that. Definitely, definitely. If you're Jalotis, you're coming from behind. You have to take a couple of risks. It's like in, uh, in any other game, try and throw some bluffs out there, catch him off guard, see if he can make a mistake off a few setting him up. And, of course, big risks. They do come with uh, a lot of damage sometimes when you don't get it going your way over towards Thailand. Mana's gonna set his initial marker. We'll see if he opts to follow through. Yep, tight pulls everything here. I actually like the, I like the center guess Loki. Quick lock again. It could be maybe slightly more north, slightly more east, but who really knows in the end of the day? It's You'll fine. probably see a similar guess by Jalotris here. Would you say Jalotris is more of a comfort player, like likes to take his time, or does he up to go fast as well? I think he's versatile. Yeah, okay. Doesn't seem to be too stressed about it. Mata tried to catch him off guard, but Jalotris ain't clipping. He's on foot still, no damage taken so far, and hits him for another 104. Yep, these are big, big rounds for him. With points and to keep his mental strong, no move, moves on. So I was initially thinking this was Norway, but then I turned around to see red car and then assume it's just Sweden, then with a red car, right? That would be how that works, maybe? Definitely would. I say smiling, nodding at you, waiting for confirmation. But then you might. It could be Swedish street signs, though. Or no, I think it's just when we have a red car, I guess red car brings you to Sweden, but it looks like Norway. So then do you go border or do you go Norway or do you, what do you do? It's a bait one. I thought it was Sweden earlier than it was Finland. These guys might be off as well. There is city signs to be seen there in the distance. So if they can lock down a city proper, that'd be huge. But that border, I mean, the Swedish Norwegian border is massive. So uh, be off here by just a like, small bit, even though it's only 2x damage. This could be huge. Quite literally. And we see both players going right on the border, but both a different, you know, Y axis. Looking for more info in the distance. Is there something the opponent might not see? There's a bit of a lake there in between the trees. But There's very few lakes in Sweden. I was actually. just going to say, if, if you're trying to bet on the one or two lakes that are in Sweden, you're not in for a good one. Four seconds left to play Mata. You got to put down your marker. Where are we going? We're going all the way coastal. Um, excuse me? Sir, that is misplaced. But great guess by Jalotris again. Just on the wrong side of the country. Yeah, out on the coast it was. As, uh, as damage once again done over towards Mata, who now sits just above half HP at 3,500. Keep the pace up here and what looks like a Peru. My car. Zoom in on the plates. Let's see what we're cooking. Instantly looking towards all the antennas they got to work with. It's that, it's open fields, and it's very beautiful barren hills in the background. Yeah, Peru is a, it's one of those countries that it can get you. 
It's interesting, they, they, coming into the tournament, GeoGuess, I asked a lot of the players some different questions. A lot of them were asking, where would you want to go if you can go anywhere in the world? Many, many players had Peru on their bucket list because of the diverse uh, nature. Oh, we have a North Guest here in the south. Oh. Or north and somewhat south. There's distance in between. This could be dangerous. 2.5x damage. Mata already sat at 35,000 health. Or 3,500 health, I should say. That bro, we gave him extra health. <laughs> Just a casual, casual extra Mata. damage. Finally, finally, Mata strikes back. It ain't much, but it's enough. It's actually quite a bit enough. Now they're sat even. Ultis, they'll do it to you. Sure will. Japan, who has the advantage? Those who've been on the plates for us, they don't need me to do it. 3x damage here. This is what you say, the light poles, the electricity poles can do well, give you a lot of info, but I feel Guy like wires. none of them are close enough. And look at the angles at which you can see them too. You don't get you don't get any of the text from there. You don't, maybe the shape. We have I mean, we just have a Tokyo guess here by Mata. Gelotris scanning. Nothing. Like, is Tokyo the safe city bet that you go to in it's case you don't know though. exactly? Like no time to try and there log in. There could be like actual something he saw there that gave him Tokyo, or it could just be a central hedge. Yeah. Rather try and uh, ra rather lock in the safe bet than give Chilotra's time to potentially find a 5k. We'll see what he makes if it goes towards Japan as well. North side Tokyo this time around. No points. A bit of distance, but it's right in between him. And we're getting um, some late game high multis coming up. Yes, sir. You know what fits really well with late game high multis? Tell me. Russia. Ooh. This. This area has been a uh, an absolute destroyer of dreams so far. We saw Wolf Trigger fall on it twice. Let's see if one of these guys can be taken down on it too. That would be plausible. Finbar, where are you when we need you the most? Says both of them. As they look for any clue as to exactly what region they find themselves in. This is urban. Maybe urban, urban rushes. And there's no antenna. He's up frustrating me with no meta. Nice tires on the car there on the right, like that kind of the double front tires, not something you see. Nova Sabir guess here by Mata, or at least hover, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tries to go east on it. Makes sense. It should be somewhat central in the country. But again, <laughs> it's quite a big country. It's big country, big and country. With 3,500 health on both of them Someone and 3.5x, I mean, this is pretty much guaranteed to be a game winning play, depending Hovering on the distance. Where's Jalosh just going? He's going to Moscow. Well, that's game. That is game regardless. This is game for someone. Toby. Definitely going to be is Jelotris out or is this going to take us in to a third round? Mata. He's moving the shell. Binks. No, he's staying. Oh, the late game moves. The late game moves. It's Who wins Mata. it? It's far out towards the east and Mata brings it home just 10 kilometers out. 2-0 against Jelotis. I mean, this guy's actually playing on the clinic. <laughs>